you know, we've been talking for like 10 minutes and you've already mm-hmm. demonstrated this encyclopedic knowledge of slasher stuff. Mm-hmm. And just like Jade. the books, the books are just, well, that's, <laughs> that's where I'm going with this. Is the oh. books are just dripping with all these Easter eggs and just everything that's like trapped inside that head. So I'm curious, you know, when you're writing these, what kind of consideration do you put into, uh, I guess, balancing references and Easter eggs with, you know, telling the coherent story and how that relates to just kind of Jade's mastery of the the genre. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, you know, Jade, she found Bay of Blood in that bargain bin when she was in junior high. And um, I'm so lucky that she found a like a proto slasher because if she would have found a tennis racket, then I'd be screwed because I don't know nothing about tennis, you know? <laughs> so I'm, I'm really happy that what she's into is what I'm into. You know, there's, um, I say happy, like it's luck. There's probably a little shaping going on, but, um, <laughs> but, um, well, I guess the trick with all the, like, I don't know, title drops and trivia and, you know, just all that kind of slasher key stuff is that, um, yes, I want to put it in there for sure. Cause that's Jade's compulsion. It's her fascination. It's how it's her lens by which she makes sense of the world. But also I don't want to rig it such that if you don't get this, little bit of trivia this in joke whatever that you're not let into the cool kids club you know that, that's the wrong way to build a story i think so that that's the hard balancing act with all that and every once in a while i do have to like lean into a bit of trivia for like a dramatic turn in a scene and when i have to do that i try to set it up earlier such that even if the reader has never seen final exam or night school i have already fed them what they need to know to understand this dramatic turn that's coming you know 